you like metal music and pretending you know what the band logos say, then Bloodstock Open Air may just be the festival for you. Maybe you've been to download in the past and you want to see what all the This isn't proper metal guys are always talking about. Or maybe this is your first time going to any festival. Well I'm here to say that regardless of your festival background or experience, Bloodstock Open Air will happily take your money. I have benevolently dedicated over 20 minutes expertly crafting a beginner's guide for you to be able to make the most out of your experience. So sit back, relax and make notes because there's an exam at the end. When you first arrive at Catton Park, you'll need to make sure you've got your parking pass and ticket on hand for a smooth entry. You'll then have to answer a standard metal fan questionnaire to weed out the poses and riffraff. Once you're through the gates and have your wristband, it's just a short walk to set up your camp. There are seven main general campsites at Bloodstock and there is only one correct answer for which one you should camp in. That's right, you guessed it, it's that one. The one everybody agrees is the best. Better than all the rest, unequivocally and unquestionably, that one. Now that you're all set up, you'll likely want to make use of the amenities on site. Bloodstock Open Air boasts at least the legal minimum requirements for portable toilets, urinals, water points and hot showers for an additional cost. You lucky devils. Festival Royalty Fat Frank's Camping Shop will be available in Midgard to remind you that no matter how much you bring, there's always something you've forgotten. And they have it, but for a price. There will be a wide variety of food and drink options on offer to fill up your scream holes, and the scream holes of the ones you care about. Head on down to Lemmy's Bar for a drink or ten, and then drunkenly stuff your face with the remains of an innocent, delicious animal or plant. Of course you can also cook your own food at one of the designated barbecue pits located in the campsites, but faced with the choice of an expertly cooked meal versus a shriveled carcinogenic sausage, I know what I'd choose. There's lots to do at Bloodstock Festival, from the fairground rides to the Ram Gallery. Fancy listening to the same three songs played terribly on repeat? Then head on over to the Game Zone to try your hand at Guitar Hero and impress the crowds with your easy mode rendition of Through the Fire in Flames. The silent headphone disco will also be in effect on select nights after the bands, so come on down and hoarsely scream the lyrics to your favourite songs for all to hear. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world! Life in plastic is fantastic! Patrons of Bloodstock Open Air have long followed a proud and noble tradition known as bin jousting, which takes place in- We, uh, we can't put the bin jousting in, they've banned it. What do you mean, banned? Well, people were getting hurt and the bin repair costs were crazy. But we had a whole segment planned. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? Can we at least use some of it? You can still use the history segment, I guess. Okay, fine, just run the tape. Honestly, fucking PC bullshit bin hating. People think they know all there is to know about bin jousting, but not many people know the origins. Where did bin jousting start, and why? It may surprise you to hear that bin jousting can be traced back as far as the early 16th century during the reign of King Henry VIII. The king was a lover of many sports, including jousting. However, when he became too large to ride a horse due to his chronic fatitis, he enlisted the aid of the Archduke of Biffa, who would go on to provide the king with a repurposed manure cart, upon which he would be pulled by specially selected members of the court. When the king died in 1547, a great procession of manure carts rode through the streets of London, and the next year, the first annual manure cart joust was held in his memory. So remember, the next time you see a man in a bin, think of the King of England. Right, where were we? Bloodstock is an all-inclusive festival. People of all ages, races, religions and genders are welcomed with open arms. Our love of metal is what unites us in the face of adversity, and you're sure to make many new friends and connections as you mosh the day away until the early hours of the morning when- We sacrifice the chosen few to appease the Dark Lord Stan. All hail the Almighty that he might adorn us with a plentiful harvest of metal music in the years to come. And of course, who could resist going for a late night ice cream with your newfound friends? Save me a mint chocolate chip. 
This last portion of the video is intended as a rough guide for the essentials that you should be taking to your new favourite festival. We're out of time, the studio's about to close. Well, I haven't finished yet, I've still got the festival essentials to do. I can try and stall them for a minute or so, but you've got to be really fucking quick. Okay, fine. Fuck it. We're gonna speedrun this bitch. Take some soft drinks or non-alcoholic beverages. Go! Do the fucking fight at you! Bitch! Medication, petty cash, towel, and some refuse back, body spray, toothbrush, alcohol! 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 Don't forget the alcohol!